Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. If you hear any noise, excuse that, you know, life is going on outside, but besides that, today I would like to talk to you guys about mental illnesses and spiritual gifts in correlation to spiritual gifts, should I say. First and foremost, let me start off by saying I am not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. I have studied psych psychology on a collegiate level when I was obtaining my degree. And, uh, you know, I'm smart and I know what I'm talking about. This does not pertain to everyone. However, this is just some insight that may help some of you who may be starting your spiritual journey, are on your spiritual path, and also suffer from mental illness. I also wanna let you know that it's okay, you're not alone. Everybody suffers from mental illness at some point in their life, in some form of way. And if they say that they do not or they have not, they are lying. I myself suffer from depression and um, anxiety at times. However, what I will say is that the older that I have gotten and the further along in my spiritual journey that I have gotten, I have realized that some of the causes of my anxiety or depression was, you know, it had a lot to do with my spiritual gifts or the development of those gifts or me not understanding what was going on. And through my observation, I see a lot of people and I have seen a lot of people and I feel as though this may help them as well. So maybe this might be you. Listen up, let's find out. I took some notes for you guys, okay? So the first mental illness that I would like to touch on is schizophrenia, okay? Or paranoid schizophrenia, whatever you wanna call it. Now, <clears throat> some people, it is hereditary. However, even that can be on a spiritual basis. There are families that are cursed, the generations are cursed from past lives where these things travel through all the ancestors from generation through generation from life to life until the curse is broken basically so a lot of people who are schizophrenic i feel as though what is going on with a lot of people who suffer from schizophrenia which is you know, they're paranoid. They think people are after them. They may hear voices talking to them, telling them to do things. A lot of those are symptomatic of channeling or mediumship. Now, anybody who is a, a medium or a channel might understand what I'm saying, okay? Because when you are a channel for a divine, you are going to get messages that are going to come not from here, not from the 3D. It might be from people who are passed on. Okay, it might be from people who are from a whole different realm than what we see here. That does not mean that somebody is crazy. This planet, this universe is full of people from all different dimensions, all different entities. We have star seeds living here who don't even realize that they are star seeds. But the fact is that their spirits and souls have been trying to awaken for the longest, but it has been being suppressed because they have not been aware. Another thing is a lot of these drugs that Big Pharma puts out, to suppress these things, a lot of these are suppressing people's spiritual gifts. A lot of these are, are suppressing people's spiritual gifts. If you do not know how to handle your spiritual gifts, you will go crazy. It will make you feel as though you are going crazy. If you are a channel for the divine and you do not know that you are a channel for the divine or you are not aware of how to handle it, you may feel as though you are schizophrenic. You may think you're going motherfucking crazy. Now, how to differentiate that is what are the voices telling you? What are you hearing? What are you being told? What are you being told? You have to realize there's a lot of things here. There's spirits that are roaming this earth. There's people's passed on loved ones that are trying to pass messages. There's a lot of souls that are at unrest here. And if you are vulnerable, if your vibration is low, if you do not know how to protect yourself or your energy, if you do not know how to handle these gifts, it's going to make you feel like you're going crazy. It's going to seem as though it is something else. And a lot of people do not know that. A lot of people do not know that. Now, the people who say they hear the voices tell them, telling them to kill people and shit like that, they are crazy. But also, too, those voices and stuff, those, y'all heard of demons, that's real. 
all those negative energies, those bad spirits, evil people, when they cross over and their evil soul is still roaming, all that is real. That can attach to people and tell them to do things as well. Okay? That's what people have to realize. If you're around people who are of a lower vibration, who have negative entities attached to them, negative spirits attached to them, and you are vulnerable and you're a channel and you don't know and you will go around them, they will attach to you. And then you're going to seem like you're crazy. You have to be aware of your surroundings and what you have around you and what you put into you. Well, another thing people do not realize is that drugs, drugs can open gateways. So when they say that certain drugs are gateway drugs, that is true. Now there's bad gateways, as we know, and there's good gateways. Certain drugs do open up the gateways for spirituality. However, moderation, moderation. And if you take a, if you take a, a hallucinogen or an upper Okay, and you already have spiritual gifts in you that you are unaware of and you are unbalanced or in a low vibration or you have a lot of negative entities around you, you're going to go crazy. That's what's going to happen. That's why you see so many people going crazy off of these drugs. It alters their mind. It alters their, their DNA, their chemistry, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then it, it goes with the, everything else, the spirituality, everything else that they're supposed to know or they're supposed to know how to control, but they don't. And you know why people don't know how to control these things? Because they're not in touch with their spirituality. If you don't know yourself, then you're going to think you're going crazy. If you don't know who you are, you're going to think you're going crazy. All right? Anxiety disorders. Bipolar disorders. Those, to me, are asymptomatic of empaths empath how do i know i'm an empath people used to think i was bipolar all the time and i am not bipolar guys i'm not an empath is somebody who picks up on the energy of people things animals around them they pick up the energy and they feel it as though they are experiencing it themselves if you do not understand that it's going to seem as though you are bipolar okay if when you're by yourself, you're calm, you're chilling, and you go around a certain group of people, and all of a sudden you get angry, all of a sudden you feel like crying, you hanging with certain friends, you happy, your life been going good, and all of a sudden y'all get drunk, and you just boohooing, and you don't know why, you may be picking up the vibrations of someone around you. Empath, you're not crazy. Empath, but you know what? You'll never be able to fully discover and culminate that spiritual gift if you take those big pharma drugs that suppress everything that's supposed to work together for you to figure out how to use it to help you and yourself. Just saying, they tried to put me on all them fucking drugs. I was like, listen, this shit has so many harmful side effects and it's suppressing my gifts. You guys don't be afraid of your gifts. They're hereditary. You can run, but you can't hide. Would you rather be on these medicines for years, for the rest of your life, and have it affect your your system, your organs? Or would you rather learn how to control your gifts, find a more holistic path, more organic, more plant-based? It just makes sense. Come on. What with everything going on, now every drug that they have on television, the list of side effects, the cons outweigh the pros. Instead, you can just smoke you some weed. Just saying. Just saying. That, that That's my opinion, okay? What else? Phobias. Phobias, phobias, phobias. Okay, phobias. <clears throat> that's a little side note for me for the phobias. A lot of times when people have phobias, that tends to be something in correlation to a past life. Something that happened in one of their past lives. I don't know if you guys believe in reincarnation or whatnot, but it's real. So as I was saying, something in the past life that happened in correlation to whatever they have the phobia about, and that came over to this life, and it needs to be overcome. Conquer your fears, guys. You ain't no punk bitch. You got this. That's all phobias are. That's all ph phobias are. Once you realize what's going on, if you have no valid reason to be afraid of something 
anything. You've had no negative experience with it in this life, but yet you have this crippling fear that maybe you need to do some meditation, some praying, dig deep, talk to your archangels, ask your spirit guides to show you the source of it so you can overcome it. Okay, that's that's for the phobias, for y'all. Okay, so <clears throat> some things that can help with these mental illnesses, okay, and that can help you to get more in touch and in line with your spirituality and figure this out and balance yourself so you can lead a more productive life. Some things that help. Go within. It's called doing shadow work. Sometimes you have to do the work. Go within. You have to open that closet, let those skeletons come out, battle your demons, and know that you are stronger than your fears. You are stronger than your anxieties. You are stronger than any negative energy, any negative entity, any demon, anything that wants to attach to you. You are stronger than your environment. Okay, once you know that, you will overcome it. No matter how hard it is, no matter how strenuous the battle is, you will overcome it. You just keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your head and you'll be fine. Find a healthy release. I like to call those catharsis, which means a healthy release. Okay, it could be artistic. You know, you might be an engineer. Build you something. Okay, you go with your hands, whatever it is, find a healthy release. Those those pictures you see in your head, those visions you see in your head that have you going crazy, that have you taking this medication, get it out. Paint what you see, write what you see, get it out your head. I guarantee you that'll cut that craziness down to half. Get it out, express yourself. What may seem crazy to you or to a psychologist, psychiatrist might be therapy for somebody else. All righty, pray. This goes for anybody, whether you believe in God, Buddha, Allah, any religion, whatever you, whatever you believe, it does not matter. It does not matter. This right here, it covers everybody because no matter who you are, we all have spirit guides. We all have guardian angels. We all have ancestors. Who are watching us and guiding us and protecting us and want to help us but you have to ask for the help because there is such a thing as free will so instead of sitting there battling in your mind and trying to fight those demons on your own ask for help you don't have to ask the people around you sometimes they're no help i know that i've been to the psychiatrist i ended up giving her advice so i know that ask your guides all right, if you don't know how to pray, just speak out loud. They will hear you. Call on your ancestors. Call on your spirit guides. Call on your guardian angels. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. Ask them to help you. Ask them to show you how, okay? And they will guide you immediately, immediately. When I say immediately, immediately, okay? For real, for real. That's all you have to do. Make sure you stay grounded as well. A lot of times when we are not grounded, it tends to make our mind and our mental illnesses worse. They tend to flare up more, okay? Go outside, not just from the house to the vehicle, not just that, no. Go outside, whether it's your front lawn, backyard, sidewalk, whatever. Take your shoes off, put your feet in the grass, St just stand there and take you a few deep breaths and just look around for a little bit and just let your mind just flow and talk to your guides. Speak to the universe, tell it what you want. Ask for grounding, ask for peace of mind, ask for help. Then put your shoes on and go about your day. You'll be surprised on how that's gonna work, I'm telling you. And also too, for those who may be suffering from schizophrenia or any other type of mental disorder where they may feel like they're, they're having the battle between good and evil, they may feel like they have more than one persona, more than one identity inside of them, more than one voice inside of their head, learn which voice to listen to because those voices might not be bad. 
okay? Some Those voices might be your guides. Th that might be your guides talking to you. You might have a direct connection to the divine and they've been trying to talk to you and you just don't know. How do you know which voice to listen to? Pray and ask. But also to remember this. Remember when you was in school and the teacher called out something and you had that person just shout out, shout out the answer just loud and wrong? Don't listen to that voice. Nine times out of 10, the loudest voice is the wrongest voice, okay? You listen to that calm voice, say everything's going hectic, like, ah, and you hear that voice that's like, so, you see this bullshit? What do you think you should do? That's the voice that you listen to while everything else is going, ah. Just saying, try it out, okay? Learn to listen to your intuition. When everything in your mind, when everything up here is going crazy, this is not where you need to make decisions from. When everything up here is going crazy, you need you need to make decisions from here. Alrighty? Because anything chaotic and hectic is not good. Remember that. You have to be your own peace of mind. You have to find your own peace of mind. You have to be aware. Alrighty? This may not apply to everybody because some of y'all are just fucking crazy. But those of you, you'll know who you are. I hope this information helps you. You guys be blessed. I love you.